on the user management side i know a lot of you guys had asked for kind of more uh customization on how you manage team so we put a lot of uh use case scenarios we start to a lot of you guys on kind of what you want to see some bigger teams smaller teams and you know we think we were able to address if not all big majority of the point so now when you're adding a team member uh you can give very specific access to your lead so if i go right to john doe simply.com so i'm going to enter the phone number so once you enter basic detail and you go into the role assignment you can choose which role you want to give access to uh john doe which role do you want him to be on let's say he's going to be my acquisition manager then you can choose whether you want john to be part of the leads uh team assigned or not so this would be beneficial if you're adding your accountant or bookkeeper that you do not want to be part of the leads then you'll just leave it as no then they're not going to show up in your team staff for the lead uh, for the lead so if you don't want you know a bookkeeper account to be part of the lead uh, team tab then you can just leave it and no the default will be no but let's say if i change it to yes then you can choose which market so previously everybody was added to primary market but that's not the case anymore you can choose you know if you want them to be part of the primary market or not Let's say I don't. I'm going to say like daily market. I don't have any campaigns in this, so it's not going to show anything. But let's say if I choose primary market, and I can, I can go ahead and select which campaign. So I can choose specifically which campaigns I want John to be part of as acquisition manager. So let's say if I want him to be part of my probate list, uh, and then on probate list, you can even choose the existing unassigned leads that you have. So for example, if I have probate list camp uh, campaign. and i have 50 leads sitting in probate list that are not assigned to anyone then i can choose do i want you know the existing leads to be assigned to john doe so you can choose that or you can leave it as no uh, or you can mark it as no and then also the new lead so you can even choose that if you want uh, john to be part of the new lead assignment or not so you can choose yes or no if you choose no essentially and you can go back and you know put that person back but if you want initially if you're hiring somebody and you want this person to only work on let's say if you know hundreds of leads sitting in your pipeline you just want him to work on that and not on any new leads then you can just choose no and none of the new leads will be assigned to John and then you can go in on the lead permission you can choose what specific access you want to give to John so you can either give access to all leads unassigned leads you know access type should be view leads only or full access and then you can also do based on the status we have all the statuses that you can give access to and if i choose let's say john's going to be my acquisition manager i don't want him to work on any leads that are no contact made or contact made so john will not see these two statuses just like how it is right now but in addition to that any calls that come in any texts that come in from the lead john will not be notified so he will not get any notification the only notification john will get for leads that are no contact made or contact made are the ones where somebody tags him on that lead or assigns a task otherwise john will not get any notification and then on the permission you can choose you know do you, if you want to give permission to delete leads export leads you know dispute tab in leads and also we added a couple of new options if you want to give john access to assign any unassigned leads that you have in in your pipeline to other team members and also if john has access to basically if there's an unclaimed lead do you want to give john access to go ahead and you know give it to somebody if it hasn't been claimed for let's say you know day or two then you can do that uh, default everything will be no and then you can choose you know which modules you want to give access to again everything is going to be default to no but you can choose you know which uh, modules you want to give access to if everything looks good you can go ahead and save it and you can go ahead and add the user um for this specific campaign so one oh sorry for in your team and when you're adding a phone number in your system now so let's say if i'm adding this new phone number i can choose uh, so you see my account app called caller so that'll be coming out next week